Hey everyone, it's Dawn Marie Nesbitt and in this video I am going to speak about connecting your Power Lead system to Aweber or GetResponse. Now, why do you want to connect Aweber to the Power Lead system or GetResponse when the Power Lead system has its own autoresponder? The reason why you'd want to do that is you want to send your emails from different autoresponders um, because Aweber may have some deliverability issues. Your Aweber emails may not always get to your subscribers' inbox, so you always try a different, um, a different application and send the same email to your subscribers just to cover your base, to cover all bases, and to ensure that all your emails are reaching to your subscribers inbox. That's very important when you are doing email marketing. It makes no sense sending an email when your emails are being delivered to the spam box because nine times out of 10, those subscribers are not going to check their junk mail and you are simply wasting your time. So I would always recommend signing up um, using an email service provider like Aweber or GetResponse. There are also others like Infusionsoft, Mailchimp, but I always like uh, I always use Aweber. I started with GetResponse. I did not like GetResponse because of its deliverability issues, um, and it didn't give me the. It did not quite suit what I was using it for, so I switched over to Aweber and found a massive improvement in my deliverability as well as it shows me different spam, um, spam scores for my emails and my emails are always at a, a nil spam score, so I like that about Aweber. But with the Power Lead system, you can decide, you can select whether you want your emails to be sent from the Power Lead system email autoresponder or any other e email service provider that you may have, such as Aweber and GetResponse. For the moment, PowerLead system only offers integration with Aweber or GetResponse and no other email service providers. So I'm going to show you how to connect Aweber or GetResponse to your PowerLead system. So this is the, your back office. If you are using Lead Lightning, which is the basic version of the Power Lead system, you will not have this capability. I do strongly recommend that you upgrade to the Gold Membership. The Gold Membership allows you to create unlimited capture pages, um, unlimited websites, and uh, you get the, the functionality of uh, having an autoresponder send out emails on your behalf, as well as you can connect a third-party application such as Aweber or get response to the Power Lead system. So there's a wealth of benefits to upgrading to the gold membership at the end of the day if you want to set your business on the right foundation if you want to get started right and you are thinking long term not short term you should be upgraded at the gold membership level so to start what you would do is you go to websites hover over websites and then go straight down to aweber and get response now because i already have Power Lead system connected to Aweber, I won't be able to show you how the integration works with Aweber, but I'm going to show you how it works with Get Response, and um, the same concept is going to apply with Aweber. Um, I'm going to be diving in and out of my Aweber account because I don't have a Get Response account, but I'll um, I will take you through the setup with Get Response and show you what it is going to look like in get response using Aweber. I hope that makes sense. Um, so you will reach to a page like this where it says manage my app survey campaign. That just basically means app, the survey that they're speaking about is your opt-in page, your lead capture page, your landing page, your lead magnet, your squeeze page. These are all words that mean the same thing. Okay. So the first page that you would have is your lead capture page. That is called your survey. So what do you want to do when the lead enters their contact details, their name and email address? Where do you want to send them? So that's what this page is asking you. Where do you want to send your leads? So I have many domains already. So what I'm going to do is, and what you can do is, as you set up each of these domains, the Power Lead system gives asks 
asks you, where do you want to send your lead? Which campaign do you want them to go to? Do you want to take them to the Power Lead System campaign, an Aweber campaign, or a Get Response campaign? So I'm just going to scroll right down to my basic um, default website, which is wealthofriches.com, and I'm going to select Go. Um, and I'm going to tell the Power Lead System where I want my leads to go to when they reach this capture page, where am I going to send them? So in this case, you can um, send the lead to the Power Lead System autoresponder. You can send them to an Aweber autoresponder or to the Get Response autoresponder. Now, because I have already set up Aweber, it's not giving me the option to set this up as it is giving it to me for Get Response. So I'm going to show you what the next option is for Get Response. But the next option for get response is going to be the same option for Aweber. So if I had not set up Aweber, I'm going to see set this up on the next page here. So I'm just going to click um, add opt in lead to get response and I'm going to click submit. But if you have an Aweber account, you can do so for Aweber as well. So that is if you're not using get response but you are using a webber. Okay so the next page that you are going to reach is initialize get response and basically you you are going to connect your email service provider to the power lead system so you want them to be talking to each other so that when a lead enters their capture page the power lead system is going to talk to a webber or get response and say hey a lead just came into this capture page here is that lead. So it passes that lead over to Aweber or Get Response. And you want to connect them through an API key. So as you can see, it says that we need access permission. We need your Get Response API key. So if you are with Get Response, this is what it would look like. And you simply need to log into your Get Response account and enter the API key here. It says here this they give you a link which is going to um, take you directly to the API key, but you have to log in first. When you click on this link, the link is going to ask you to log in first to get response, and then it's immediately going to take you to the API key. So if I click it like that, it's going to open a separate page, and you will see that it will ask me to log in first to my get response account, and then once I've logged in, I'll go straight to where the API key is. Now, I do not have a Get Response account, so I'm not going to continue with this page, but I'm going to show you where the API key is on Aweber. If you have a Get Response account, simply add your email address, your password, log in. You will get on the page for the API key, copy that API key, and come back to the Power Lead system and paste your API key here. So I'm just going to show you where that API key is in Aweber. Okay, um, now with Aweber, you would go to My Apps. So once you've logged into your Aweber account, you go to My Apps, and then Aweber is going to give you a list of all the applications that are connected to your Aweber account. The same thing can apply for Get Response, um, but you don't really need to go through that Get Response, um, go through or follow that Get Response path because the Power Lead system takes you directly to your API key. So you can see here, I already have the Power Lead system connected. Okay, and then they give you a list of other tools that you can connect to your Aweber account as well. So there are many tools that are, can be integrated with Aweber, quite a lot. Okay. Um, if we were to select, for example, if we were to select lead pages, let's just see what will happen, whether it's going to give me the API key here. Okay, what we came to is rather a tutorial which shows you how to connect lead pages with Aweber. So it does not seem as though they give you, when you go onto Aweber um, applications on, 
on this page, it does not seem that they give you an API key. Um, but if it is that you want to go to log in directly to your AWeb account and you reach onto the Power Lead system um, page, it will just have enable here and it will guide you through. It will guide you through what you need to do to connect AWeb and the Power Lead system. Or in, if you're in get response, you will go directly to the API key. The same thing is going to apply when you um, when you tell the Power Lead system that you want to connect to Aweber, for example. So you will still get the API key that comes that Aweber provides. So you can then go back to the Power Lead system and um, and create that uh, create that connection between Aweber and the Power Lead system. So just to repeat that again, when you if you were to select Aweber from the Power Lead system, it's going to give you a link like this and it's going to take you directly to the Aweber API key. Once you have that API key, you simply copy that authorization, you paste that authorization code here, and then click Get Access. Well, access my Get Response account, and it's going to set everything up for you, either with Get Response or Aweber, whichever one you choose. Now you would know that you are all set up because if you go back to websites, Aweber Get Response. Um, you will see a list of all your whatever lists you have, email lists that you have already created in Aweber or GetResponse. So in my case, I have several lists I've already created in Aweber and the Power Lead system continues to read. Each time I update my Aweber account with an email list, the Power Lead system is always up to date with those lists. So. For example, in the previous video tutorial where I spoke about setting up an email list with Aweber, I'll put a link somewhere um, on this video here. Um, I created the XYZ email list. So you will see that when I go back into the Power Lead system, and if I go here, that list is going to appear inside here. XYZ a rebel list and that's the one that you want to connect to so if you have already created lists in your get response or a rebel account you will simply come back to this screen choose which autoresponder campaign prospects receive and you simply select whichever campaign that you want so these are campaigns that i already have in my a rebel account campaigns are basically emails that I have written up, that I've personally written up, that will be sent out to my subscribers on a given day. And you want to create campaigns uh, as a follow-up series. So if you are promoting any product, those emails are going to be sent out systematically on any given day, just as a reminder to the lead or subscriber to help build that relationship with them. So I hope this, this video was easy to follow, even though I wasn't able to show you exactly how to connect, use your API key to connect. It's a very simple process because the links in the Power Lead system takes you directly to where the API key is. Once you've found that API key, you simply copy that API key and put it in the bar where I showed you and click um, connect with your get response or with your Aweber account. And then once you have your lists set up in Aweber or get response, in the previous video, which I previously linked, I showed you how to create a list. That list is going to be updated all the time in the Power Lead system right here for you. So you can easily select which list you want the lead to receive when they opt into a particular campaign um, capture page. Um, so that's it for now. I wanted to make this video quite short. Hope that uh, you understood it. Um, if you like my videos, please do subscribe. I do provide daily tips and tricks to help you with your online marketing journey. I also have a free course um, to help 
beginners or anyone who's struggling with online marketing, making money online, go through that course with the link below, free access, hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.